hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so here I took a small glass bottle and I will start to wrap the um, foil around it to make the figure the neck actually um, and then the head the same procedure I have been doing in my all uh, sculptures or dolls videos Now after this I will be making uh, the arms and I will cover all the arms and the body with the masking tape or the paper tape. Then I am folding little bit arms as I want to uh, give the body the pose how she is standing. And then I decided to make it uh, a little bit longer so because I was not used to of making the small height doll so I was not comfortable in the size of bottle so I added uh, a plastic empty box under the glass bottle and then here I'm uh, making all of these things to make her figure uh, her back and um, curvy shapes of her body so this also I have been doing in I think uh, in Jessica Rabbit video the same procedure almost from the back I added the foil then on the sides as well to give the shape of her curvy body. Here you can see I have um, covered both sides with the foil to give the shape for her body and now this part of the foil is going to be her leg shape which she is uh, bending a little bit uh, outward of the dress so here I will stick it on one side this video actually you see that I am working with my left hand and the uh, um, leg you see that it's on left side but actually it's not on the legs, uh, left side it's on the right side but because I don't know why when I start to film the videos uh, the camera uh, is not giving me the option to flip the video uh, the clip onto the mirror side or something like this but otherwise the leg is on the right side as well uh, actually and I'm working with my right hand I'm not left handed so in all video you see it's that I am working with my left hand but it's not like that and at the end at the end of the video you will see the leg on right side so don't get confused that I made something wrong or I uh, cheat or something like this actually <laughs> because it's just the mistake of uh, camera it's showing my left handed side so anyway then I covered the leg like this and then I will be covering the foil part of the leg as well with the masking tape or the paper tape and then here I am saying sorry from the start actually because this part after finishing here it has to be covered with the white fabric I covered all of this leg part and the bottle bot bottom of the bottle with the white fabric but I don't know where is that part of the video where that clip gone uh, I'm not finding it anywhere in my phone or in my computer where I was covering the bottle with the white fabric actually it's nowhere in my phone so uh, sorry for that but anyway um, 
it was just a simple step i took a white fabric and i covered the bottom part of the bottle with uh, that fabric with the uh, hot glue i will keep sticking it so uh, when i apply the other pink fabric on top it will not be showing the glass bottle or the cup or the foil leg so that was just the single part of covering the bottle bottom of the bottle then i am covering her body the top part with the air dry clay Now this is here the face mold uh, which I made with the uh, hot glue uh, and I will be making the face with the air dry clay and many people ask me where is the video for the mold it's actually one of my video of um, mermaid it's actually only one mermaid I made it's in that video you can check that video if you want to know how I made uh, the face mold so yeah I will be uh, keeping the link in the description box then I will be sticking this face on top of the foil face I made before and then the same thing again I will be covering it all with the hairs and hair procedure is also quite long I cannot show each and every step you can check that out uh, the, the first videos how I was making the hairs with the clay because I cannot see uh, show each and every step in all videos the same procedures so it's totally up to you, you what style you want to give her hair so you can leave it as plain head or uh, just a bun hair bun high bun or something like this so yeah on top of this now I will be making the hairs and just keep watching you will see and you will know how you are going to work with your sculptures or dolls So here I have bought uh, silicone or rubber type this tool in my hand to uh, design the clay to mark the hairs or to uh, press it down or to smooth the clay so I finally bought these uh, silicone tools which were quite helping for me but I was not used to of these things actually still so mostly I was working with, with my hand instead of these tools but they were quite helping and um, they are quite nice also and they are very expensive as well sorry <laughs> to say but it's really they are really expensive and yeah this I actually bought for my future work as well I have some other plans in my mind so that's why I bought it to keep working to keep using them so here you can see how I'm giving the style to her hairs and um, yeah you can give any style you like This is how uh, she looks like with the different hairstyle now um, and I loved it so anyway I mixed a little bit brown and white color together with the, a bit of pink shade to make the skin color but uh, after that I will apply the 
my old foundations as well on her skin to give it a natural skin color so because I was not happy with this color what I was giving her for her skin so after that I will apply the foundation to get the desired color I like So now for her hairs I am mixing white and golden acrylic paint um, to give it a little bit uh, light shade for hairs. Uh, I will cover the hair base with this color white and golden mixture then on top I will be using just golden acrylic paint to highlight the uh, edges of the hairs. You can use any color of your choice. So here is this silk pink baby pink soft pink color which I'm gonna use for her dress and you can see the base I made with the white uh, fabric. I just wrapped it around her uh, waist just to cover the bottle and glass and uh, glass bottle and the plastic cup and the foil and uh, sorry for that I don't know where is that clip where I was covering I don't know camera was not open or uh, it didn't come in the editor. I don't I have no idea where it is that where is that so anyway it was very simple just I wrapped the um, fabric around her waist to cover the bottle and uh, foil parts and then with this fabric silk fabric I will be giving her style for her dress um, that's also when you see you will uh, have idea what style you want to give uh, to your sculpture so the my main purpose was actually to highlight to make the prominent her leg shape how she's standing here you can see so i was trying to give um, uh, the shape for her curvy body just to highlight the shapes for the body so that's why this side i was making it more prominent and again remember this is actually the leg is on right side just because of my camera setting something you see it on uh, left side and you feel that I'm working with left hand but uh, actually I'm right handed and yeah here I will be keep using the ta uh, sorry hot glue to style her, her fabric what I want the design so I will be working according to that
and now here again I took the same fabric which I used on the base for the bottom this is also I'm covering here around her waist so that I can apply the blouse on top of this Here is the lace uh, which is uh, the same color of the, the skirt I made so this I am sticking her on her uh, top part as well to make it uh, looks like a, a blouse shape different loose blouse shape you can use uh, whatever you like you want to make it just a bra shape or you can give it just a tight blouse shape or t-shirt shape whatever you like but uh, I wanted to use the lace in the in this way which was uh, quite looking nice as well so I will be sticking and I will be cutting the rough edges then I will stick it with the hot glue on the back side of the body So here are the foundations extra ones which I am going to use for her skin to highlight it to give it a different shape because her skin was almost matching with the dress so I decided to make it a little bit darker. here now I'm using a very tiny thin brush to highlight to give the details for her face using the black acrylic paint for her uh, eyes like a liner shape and then I will be making her uh, eyebrows as well with the same uh, shade black acrylic paint and then I will use um, a red uh, acrylic paint for her lipstick for her lips Here I have a sparkling fabric, tiny piece which I will be uh, using for her neck just for design for style.
and then the same fabric I will be using for her waist as well to highlight and to uh, give the uh, skirt a different style to highlight it to make it different little bit than blouse from the front to back I will be sticking it and here we are done I actually love her face her hairstyles uh, totally loving it and um, I didn't make the hands but if you want you can do it in complete detailing I was actually uh, not in the mood to do those things so anyway I hope you like the video it was a basic uh, idea to do so you can make it in your own style you if you want thank you so much for watching and uh, Please subscribe to my channel, keep watching and uh, bye for now.